past three months. Heroic have played a lot of nuke and won a lot of nuke. I'm worried for them after that first map, though, because I Vitality, see. they've really come to play today. It's not just the scoreline, it's how prepared that they looked, it's how clean they kept the game, it's how much innovation they were showing in some of their CT-sided holes, their T-side, they punished Heroic. And right here, right now, they look to do the same. Taking this in 2-0 might make those grand final losses feel a little bit better. Yeah, out for revenge. GG.bet believes Vitality have the edge. And a three tests for Apex on Yard. Okay. Cadence P250 too strong. And Stowns actually got down the vents. I we couldn't stop him. They've got so much control. They got Yard. They got down Secret. Ooh, Zywoo's managed to find an equalizing frag at a quick cursory glance at Secret. Yeah, right now, Shox is the only man on the lower side. Needs to get some rotation. Needs to get a bit of help down here because that is where the bomb currently resides. Three players on the lower side. Burr up dealing with rotations on top of Silo, but it's about to be a biff. They're pushing forward. Wanted to get back into the site, and it's actually worked out well. It does mean that RPK is vulnerable to Acadian P250, but he flips the script. Shox closes the door in their face. No, He's got an awkward you. angle. Oh, clean. Takes down another. Stowns sent to an early grave. Tessus trying to pivot up the vents, or at least suggest it's a possibility. He's actually staying, looking for a fight. RPK on the right. Oh, clean enough, but down to 23. Three more to find, and he already has been found out by Shox. Masuta, Zaiwu are above him. A bomb plant would be fantastic. I wonder if he could just attempt to settle. Oh, that's another sound cue. And yeah, that'd be heard. Shox has got a good idea of where he is now. Information relayed by his teammates, just a matter of time. Yeah, I don't think that bomb's going down anyway. Unless you get that one little well, the timing. Yeah, you might be able chance. to get it down now. There's a very... Well, the doors are so close. Oh, Tessus. Yep. Caught out. Hunted. 14 seconds. He's being played with by Shox. If he closes the door, maybe... Oh! He takes his close jaw. Shox was ready for it, though. So we won't see the plant. Tessus just felt a little too pressured, and you could see Shox just continuously keeping him on edge. Translates. Vitality right. 1. Now, uh, look, I think that there's a couple of keys here that if you can plug up the holes against Heroic, especially in the mid-rounds, it's not about the start. We know how good the smoke walls are. We know the players can get down the vent and just really exploit those rotations. But if you know that they're going to constantly pivot up and down between those vents and you can plug that and make sure your rotations keep that in mind, you're not just playing heaven. You're not just playing on the floor. You're actually dealing more with those squeaky players to lock them down before they can get room. Heroic are going to find themselves in a very, very difficult position here because Looks like Vitality have put a lot of work into this matchup. Pressured Masuda. <laughs> that felt very difficult, but it doesn't seem like the round will be any any way similar shape or form to Masuda's death. In fact, I has got a pretty damn good idea as to where Kadian's coming from. Dude, getting vertigo just watching these two duke it out. Keep spinning around. Ugh, travel sick. Six hundred dollars. Take those. All right, well, it was RPK on the Famous with a nice 4K, so it's good to see he hasn't cooled since map number one. Forced to be reckoned with on overpass. Mopping up those eco kills. Got the vacuum cleaner out, hoovering them up as quick as you like. And the guns have come out. That full eco from Heroic. Not as much bite, but these AKs got a bit more punch behind them. Five smokes are out, AKs for all. See what a heroic looking here to establish. Last time these guys played in DreamHack Open Fall, it was a uh, double overtime affair. Hoping for a close one, Chad. This is a heroic's chance. That's a lobby crunch. Look at it. Yeah, yeah straight into the lobby. Oh, Get dear. Out of here. Loose. Catas That's not a word. Catastrophic is for the French. Borup's found a crucial frag on his return from ramp, and he wants to retrieve that bomb. It's actually forced a smoke out of him just in the essence of retrieval. One frag from Borup does not remedy the situation, though. Zywu, he hears it. He knows outside's a possibility. Shock, they know exactly where you are. That should be a one duel. He actually gets away with his life oh, and now through the smoke. Communication strong. Advantage. They press on again. 4v2 now. It's throwable. Very much so. Not only is Shock's low, but it's scouts, it's MP9s. You've got armored AKs here. Heroic can still make this first buy round. Impactful. Clean. That perfect weapon for the job. 
Cadian thrown into a one versus three. Now going down the vents would be Zywu's frag and with his knife out, he does go down. Perfect start for the French team. They've weathered the first heroic buy and they're building a bank of their own design. Let's not forget that was a bonus round and they did manage to successfully find it. This shot through the smoke, a double lobby frag to start off proceedings. That's mm -hmm. AK's gone. Zywu just reacting to the comms of shocks. Clean as you like. That was three staying alive and it was just scouts, the Famous and three MP9s. That's what they made That's work. The bonus conversion. And this, doing that, the groundwork's been laid for a strong CT half. Because yeah. we see that CT economy getting tested when it doesn't translate like this. They've even still kept the scout on Apex. He is... 6K in the good right now. So Rich. It, yeah, vitality is set pretty right now. They've even been able to... Oh, hello. Cause a big gap in the smoke wall. That's a lovely bit of info for Apex to be able to hold safely and tightly with his scout. No one's crossed secret, he can say with conviction as they come yard. That is a gap though. Apex is not ready to plug this hole. Shox is. Oof, Borup. He will take that frag any day of the week. Nico's caught another. French can't afford to let this one slip away. They need to find a recovering frag, but from where? It's RPK that goes hunting and Nico off angle. Slaps the tank down, denies it. Ooh. Apex cannot finish the job onto Nico. They've got everybody still standing and catching Zywu in transition. Heroica winning. With nothing. Kadian truly has nothing. Apex <laughs> faded in. Oh dear. Well, that's a crucial recovery. You can see we talked about the CT economy and how if they win, win that, they'd be set for a few. Borub starting things off with a great adjustment. Yeah, it was just a, a very tiny margin there. Shock's rotating back as Apex took his eyes off of Yard. And that's a huge one to win in a clean fashion. Now, maybe that will spark Heroic into this series. You can see Shock's caught off guard. In the boot camp, can't uh, be as lippy after the deaths, but with double orbs, excuse me, shocks and Zywu both onto the big greens here. They had money to do so. One of the orbs is going to be watching They yard. go fast. If they do anything fast, these smokes, um, rather scopes, will not be able to retake. Pushing lobby as well, so yeah. searching for info. Yeah, this battle, the lobby continues. Wow. Oh, Masuta thought he had it all. Trying to punish, but it's a double from Stown controls that lobby as his teammates work from yard into the top site. It's a perfect symbiosis. And these orbs, once that bomb goes down, are completely nullified. They have to save this. Already considering it, yeah, this is a big round to win back for Heroic here. What a swing. This is a pendulum right now here on Nuke. It was 100% tipping Vitality's favor. And Heroic, by turning it around with Deagle Kevlar, have managed to make this all the more Danish. The thing is, is Stan going to have a look in here? He's low on HP. He's clearing off towards ramp room. The remainder of his teammates all look like they're saving towards Yard, but Stan actually wants to have a crack. Uh, it's probably a good thing if he dies because he's going to identify there's an AWP. So uh, at least now they know what they're operating against in the next round. I don't think Shox had shot a bullet either. So neither AWP had shot until that moment right there. Heroic would have gone in blind into the next round. Now they know there's at least one AWP. So it's going to change their approach for round number five. Uh, sorry, six as a scoreline now. Three to two. Apex gets himself an M4, and all in all, it's not a bad pickup because these two kills from Stan, the fact he could adjust there onto Masuda, wild stuff. Two ops and an M4. You can get Zywood dropping a rifle. Chad, have you seen that one of the League of Legends stars, Reckless, doesn't follow anyone on Twitter? Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, why aren't you that cool? Why don't you just not follow anyone and um, have... It's reserved for like people like The Rock and stuff, right? Yeah, The Rock, Reckless. Yeah. Anyone? It's your A-listers. Yeah, all right. well, the big names. <laughs> I'm not cool enough. Zero following. Damn. The man doesn't need to. Ah, they're charging topside into what is just USP. He's a perfect molly. RPK thinks he's found a safe haven. Oh, Nico's burn. perfect. Molotov has cut Mamasuta down to size. Should be a save again here. They need to hold on to these rifles once more. Nice to switch up on the pace there, Heroic, just to stop those rifles from, you know, whittling away, finding an opening frag and being able to scamble stack into a site that Heroic would run out of time and have to rush the execute of. Ooh, oh, on the think... inspect. And Tessus goes down. That's a little bit of a frustrating death. All right, well, the flash at least shows intention. They want to hang around here. We can see Vitality not going for it. One orb towards the lower, one towards CT spawn. Nico trying to cut off Apex, seeing if he's going to dip on back. 
Nico might even, ooh, mm. if he went down secret, there would have been a world, but not to be the case. The bomb will go off. The orbs will be held on to. Now they know that there's one orb, right? They're well aware as one orb is in play. The double orb set up on the CT side, especially on Nuke, and you were pointing it out earlier, is one of those setups where if it is site control lost, lower or upper, it doesn't even matter. The retake becomes so difficult. So they need to find opening picks with these orbs. So they're going to use these aggressively. We've already seen them have a bit of a look in towards ramp. They could play passive towards Yard just to oversee activity. But they need to be active with the AWPs. It is not really enough just to keep them static. And they need to be very dynamic searching. They've even brought out an org on Apex. He loves to play that tucked in towards the warehouse. So back under where we go. Heroic can take the lead here. And there's one orb. That is a huge start. Almost Hello. a double. Yeah, Zywoo, he started with a bang. So has Kadian, though, immediately puts him into the grave. And he has got some pace behind him. He wants to take early heaven. They've still got lobby. This is going to hurt. This is looking good from Heroic. They've got so much control. Taking down one of the orpers already. And Shocks has gone too. Getting even more awkward. Tessus edging further. As the smoke fades, it's a free double. Both of them trying to catch them off guard. But the jewels are won by Heroic. And this is practically spotless on the T side. Just the one blemish in the absence of Stown, but bombs down, Apex can't do anything. And this this has been, what, three rounds in a row now? We've just seen Vitality have to sit there and save. Yeah, and unfortunately for Apex, look how disconnected he was from all of those frags. All the utility, he didn't see any action, not a bullet fired. Just wanting to hold on to this org now. Will they let him do it? That's the question, because looking in, they're having a chase. Pressure from Ramp and Heaven. Gets one. Is that enough, though? Apex dropping his utility now, expending a lot. They're jumping forward. He's got all the kills. Good damage there. And he will hold on to that rifle. He worked hard to hold on to it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh Nico. Oh, don't do smoke. him like this. Smoke. Pump the smoke. Nico losing the orb as well. No. Zywoo gets a lovely special treat after a 4K survival from Apex. I mean, it forces the rebuy. They've got plenty of cash. Heroic, obviously, off the back of, I think that's four in a row. But timeout called, Orp recovered. Apex does everything in the face of defeat there. All right, well, need to discuss their options here, Vitality. This was Shocks going down, searching for a frag, trying to level things up. And uh, this is the indication again. So they wanted to push Squeaky. There's been quite the, the lean from Vitality to push Lobby when things go awry. And that's the right game plan because it's not that well defended. Now they have the AWP to work with here. What's going to be called? Because the money situation, it's decent enough to get the buy going. You can see M4 is coming out, AWP back for Zywoo, Apex into another org. No kit's been purchased just yet, but Shox and Apex can buy one so each. So Heroic have been making great use of, of just using Yard into main for topside takes. I would love to see Vitality just give them a little bit of a warning that Yard is not always going to be a guarantee. You know, you saw complexity going with these two, three-man Yard aggressions, setting them up for red container, etc. But it seems that Vitality want to get a lot of their dirty work done elsewhere, which look how much room this gives Heroic. Smokewall's been stifled, though. True, and that gap could be now held by Zywoo. They'll try and flash him off the line, but he has a very big vantage point here. They smoke it again. I think there's still a gap. No info. Oh, so many suffocating flashes. They're all crossed. And the response is an Apex setup. Apex, what are you doing? Just the one. I love the attempt, just standing to fight them in the corridors, trying to slow them down before the rotate gets too slow. Shox is trying to fill the gap. And Nico's trying to create space. Look at the chances he's going to be presented here. He's gone all the way through warehouse, and so has the bomb. So Heroic have got a different strategy in mind. Borob trying to sell this lower rotate, and he's got Zywu and Shox on a high alert. Oh, they can go lobby, heaven, and main into the top site here. Our people might come through the vents. Oh. Need some multis from these top defenders right now. The amount of space. He's cleared ramp. And three mollies to work with as well. They have taken so through much room. Secret through warehouse. Zywoo caught out. They've wrapped all the way around. This is a great T start from Heroic, and it gets worse for the French. RPK maintains control. That is the bomb, but pressured and traded. And Sharks was forced to rotate lower. Now he's completely locked out. He's being stared at by... Oh, Borup's barrel. Okay, so he's not going to be caught off by the uh, Borup's positioning, but he's just hoping that the frag gets given his way. Borup just gets a bit impatient, wants to have a look. 
Might just be another save call here. Shocks can't really justify going for this. A one on three, they're operating with very little, and it's going to be now Orcs five on the ran. drop. If the door is open, he doesn't have to make a sound. I think the glass might be broken. He goes still watching it, right? Uh-huh. And Borup's even come down the vent in hot pursuit. This isn't going to end well Look for Shocks. This is not going to end well for Shocks at all. Quiet. Here on Nuke. Met by Nico. Great start to the Danish T side. They have now converted five in a row. Borob going down to the bombs, not the end of the world. He was on the hunt and has nine grand to splash as they continue their uh, path to glory and to a third map. Vitality have some answers that they need to put up here because the indication's been clear that they like to take this lobby space when they lose room, but they're not winning the fights, and that may have dispelled them from going for more of that riskier style of gameplay. They're going to limp in here with a partial. Apex had so much money, he can even get an M4 with Kevlar behind it. An MP9 in the mix, a 5-7 for Masuda. Was a hero with that weapon over on overpass. CZ and a Deagle, so a Menagerie of a buy. No two weapons the same for Vitality here. Is once again Yard Control taken. Nico leading the charge. We'll be behind this smoke wall. As we can see, nobody home whatsoever. Quite the stack towards top and ramp. They've given up yard completely. Again, they just don't want to fight for yard, and I'm surprised. It's been the only thing that Heroic have been using. Three, every time, just using yard, and it's never contested. Enables one to go lower, and then you just have to answer these questions. It just did sound cues and second guessing it's perfect from heroic but it's not been responded to by vitality at all for five rounds straight go down lower fake it wrap top site tessus anti-flash as he tries to wrap heaven it's been Ooh. working for them time and time again but there is a bit of a spanner in the works and that go spanner goes by the name of shocks it's downs holding the lobby aggression God, another chaotic round of counter-strike here clear in their corners and they line up for him. Masuta next on the chopping block, but good moves with a 5-7. Zywu knows oh, heaven's a threat. Nade. That is a very promising nade. And look at the chance Hello. for shocks. Spotted. Jumps off the ladder successfully, actually finding Tessa. Cadian under a lot of scrutiny now, trying to jump and find the aggression. Oh, he just Nearly lost got 40 it. HP on that fall. That's the bomb. There's no time to get it. Round winning stuff. Nico up there, gets traded immediately. Masuta with a double in that round, and it was a crucial trade as well onto Stown and Lobby. Vitality back on the board, and it was actually, as you highlighted, successful Lobby take this time. Yeah, they made that one work. Even though they're lined up, it looked really, really bad for a second there, but Shocks on this ladder as well. They wanted to give them that room. They were baiting them into that play. That nade was great. Shocks on the ladder, jiggling around. When Kadian dropped off, lost 40 HP, loses that fight by the smallest of margins, but they know what they're working with. They know what space they're giving up, and that's a frustrating round here. Heroic, their back's against the wall. They've already lost that first map. They're feeling going into their map pick. They're under pressure. Still no real change. Again, it's just this passive yard hold. Zywu overseeing things with the AWP. Three towards top. Kadian has an AWP, just being dispelled from that squeaky pick, and now Stown's having a little bit of a look. This one's slowed down as they're looking towards ramp now for a pick. Shocks under question as a huge nade lands. That's so much damage done. Tessa's down to below half. A boost for this. If Shocks takes just a little look, he will be met by the Kadian AWP. Flash onto his position, and he just gives it up. I were trying to keep them on high alert. How is Shock supposed to deal with all this? Oh, he's actually managed to isolate a 1v1. Nico wins it though, so heroic again with an advantage. I think I'm trying to bait them into going faster because you can see Apex already lying in wait, but they haven't taken it. Apex can actually push back for this space. Nico wasn't expecting that. That's good, and he can actually save ramps clear. Lobby, get ready. They can come through hot. They can come through fast. Three from Squeaky. RPK's got his work cut out for him. It's down to challenge. So I was already hit one. Heroic getting pulled apart now. And that is perfect from Vitality. Nearly every single member contributing a frag there. So we with the pair. Five to five. Okay, so Vitality have seemed to have resolved some of the issues they were having. Enough to pull a lot of the finances out of Heroic. One of the things that Heroic do is once they take space, they tend to be quite heavy on how they leave it. And this might mean they need to change their game plan. But if they can identify that, that's the other question. If we get ramp room, maybe we push for the punish. Maybe we keep that foot on the gas right there. 
but there will be a timeout taken and those are the things that Heroic need to talk through. They're going for a partial buy that's indicated by the purchases so far. It's tech nines. Work out what utility they want. What type of execute do we have? There's a lot of force buy possibilities or low buy possibilities for Heroic. They tend to make a lot of their rounds work, at least make them deadly, getting that bomb down, keeping it expensive. RPK still fragging towards the top of the charts here. 10 for him, nine for Zywu, eight for Apex, four for Masuda and three for Shox. We got nine for Nico, five for a piece for Katie and then Stout. Barrett with four and three for Tessas. Tessas last time round was a uh, big influence on their nuke victory. They will need him to get activated at some point in this game. He was kept quiet on overpass. Same thing here within the early stages. And as we get back underway for round number 11, things are tied up five to five. Walls smokes towards Yard within the early stages. Same play. Fake that vent control, fake that vent dive. Apex taking that space away from them immediately. Oh, he's unable to get down. A little bit janky. Oh, Masuta tested. Controls it nicely. And it's only going to be a single entry frag into the side from Testus. Bears them up eventually. RPK and Masuta both met by his tech nine, but it's uh, clean vitality sick. And they are starting to make a CT half out of this. Initially, it was just the first three. Starting off our second map, but another burst of th three rounds in a row. Heroic are going to have to go back to the drawing board now. Everyone's starting to come online. Oh, it's down even into Galil here, so not the best device for the star player. I see if Heroic want to take not going more any room. yard this time, which is always a little bit exciting. Of course, Vitality were having issues with that, so this is a mix-up that hasn't been burning, forced. Burning, burning. Suta, where's your health at? 12 from the Molotov, put to zero by Borup into the top side. This could be a disaster. They're tr trying as hard as they might to delay it. Shox is so late to the party, as is Apex. These direct approaches is how Heroic might have to continue forward here, Alex. You can see just how quick they're able to win these duels, but when they were given the space, Vitality have a very good read. Might be a Vitality save here, again. Just like that. Look at all the nades they still have left, but there's no way that you can buy back into this one. Heroic have nothing, but... Vitality don't know what's being covered, how the post-plant situation looks. That flash is merely just so Apex can get out of dodge and get over towards T-Spawn to hold onto that gun. Nico might be able to stop this. Oh, never mind, Shox is here. And you can see Heroic, they're like, oh, we can't fight. We don't have any money. We need to hold on to these guns. So just lobby entrance is where they'll wait. Shock's trying to do a bit more damage. <laughs> Borum killed Stown. It kind of works. Yikes. Stown's got 3,900. He loses out because of that team kill. Brutal. Okay. 6-6. Oh. Six, six. This one's so tight. I, I, I think here that Vitality are trying to give them enough rope to hang themselves. If Heroic go forward with this kind of approach time and time again, then they're looking good. I, I think it needs to stay direct from them. Lost to say here. There's the coach in the back line just giving the final orders before we get back underway. Still not a clear indicator of who's going to walk away with a win on the half. And he's good. The buy will come through. There won't be any real dramas. Saved guns, percentage plays. Everything by the book from Vitality here. By the end of this round, one team will be taking another step towards a one half. Eight is a victory. Anything more is a luxury. Let's see. There's a bit of, finally, some CT yard aggression. I've been begging for it. Shox is giving it. He's got some support in Apex. How do they approach this, though? It's going to get intense. And oh! Straight into him, a dink exchange. Bacadian's gun hits harder. Slap down, Zywe response as well. They're going to boost Nico on the box. That seems ambitious. Yeah, one of them wants to go up. He's going to spam this. He knows the smoke lineups. Or is he? Yeah, he's, he knows the smoke lineup. <laughs> That's amazing. That's exactly where they jump to throw their smoke. Borup goes down for it. And suddenly that duel outside is not in vain. In, in fact, Apex, because you, as you highlighted, Chad, Counter-Strike is cool. Yeah. Heroic do like to uh, back away after taking some space. And by having someone there to, to confirm it's been vacated, they have more, more info. But that's a great little slip, slip in from Tessus and Stown. They've got ramp. Slipping past Saiwu's crosshair. And now descending the lower site. Nico there with the bomb as well. It feels like Vitality are just going to... Bow out at this one. Have to get stuck in eventually. Surely this go. is around where they give go. it a crack. They are moving. They've got nades. Bomb will be planted. That's Nico caught out. K 
Kadian trades. Need to die. RPK does dink him, but it's not enough. Kadian, the in-game leader, has boasted three. Putting Apex into a 1v3. And now a clean duel onto Stown. Another. It's Tessus, and he's been having a bit of a stressful game. Apex seems to think better of it, though. Oof, Kadian really saved them there. The yeah. fact that he gets that kill outside with the yard pressure from Shocks and then gets those two as they're flooding down ramp. If he goes down with only the one for one trade and Apex gets away with the kills he just did, that round is on like Donkey Kong, but that's going to be the seventh of a heroic now. Bomb will go off. Money, okay for Vitality. Look at Apex. Look how much money Apex has and a save rifle. He can drop two guns going into the next round of play. Zywoo still has 11k. They are all good for another buy Vitality. No dramas whatsoever. There it is. So looking ready for that jump throw on the smoke. Even if he spammed that box, would have had some damage done. And there's Kadian saving them. So it is close. Heroica really being tested here, having to question every single decision and move that they would normally make. They've been looked into. And when those details start getting found out and you waver from the game plan, you don't have another way around it. That's when you can really get rattled. It was really cool. Yeah, I like the way that Apex wasn't necessarily part of the same push as Shocks, but more so just to confirm whether they were committing or not. Now they're getting a full commitment. Oh my Lord, they're so fast. Masuta's is still throwing out his smoke. He had no idea, but RPK is having a game. This is against a fully bought up heroic, and he's just massacred three of them like they're on an eco. Stan wants the bomb plant, and Molly to vents to stop the rotate. They're charging towards ramp, but they won't be able to contest this. And Kadian, super late to the party from ramp. They are so isolated. It's a 1v3 for Stown. And he's being pressured from both angles. I was not going to miss. Kadian is so disconnected. If he fires a shot, if he's spotted, they can just defuse. They might even go for it now. Shocks, surely you want to just get your tickle on. It's giving time for Kadian now to crawl. Down the ramp. Defuse now. Three, two, one. Seven to seven. RPK gets all the beans, all the credits. And he makes it look so stylish. In stark contrast, of course, to Masuta, who got completely caught out by that. The flashbang was enough. He didn't catch them on their initial swing. And by the time his vision was restored, he was just thinking about extinguishing that molly. Ooh, look at this. Double orbs. Dorping T side. Okay, <laughs> this is a bit of a weird look. Heroic going outside of the playbook here. They'll take their second yard? time out a, for the a half. Biff yard for the eight. Maybe they just want to look for some frags, Ramp but yeah, they, they're going to have to take a couple of fights here. At this stage of the game, it looks like they just want to take those jewels to Vitality because otherwise they're losing out. That top rush, you're right. Masuda has been bullied off of hard a couple of times. The flashes are great, unable to capitalize on it. And it looks like Vitality are good for the half here, but. What can Kadian be cooking up with double orbs? What kind of a game plan could he have in store here? Because you're going against Zywoo on the other side of things, who has the big green as well. Zeus for Apex. He's spending all his pennies in the final round. Got to give him the uh, respect for the hustle. Yeah, upgrade your pistols, rebuy your head armor. Everyone's got himself a pistol. RPK is a bit of an old, old fashioned a head. Deedle, mate. I don't need a fancy pistol. I like my USP. Back in my day, I only used the default pistol. <laughs> if he was a cockney gangster, obviously RPK is not. Kadian charging into a Zywoo and not going to take a speculative shot. So now that red container swing is a vulnerability. Does he want to have a look? Kadian's already slipped across. The eco does go down though. Kadian isolated from the pack and the bomb was on its way there as well. Hmm? They have no idea that Kadian's down, but there's not a lot you can do with an AWP lower. Oh, oh, if only Borup knew. He's dealt 99 damage. Through the smoke, Apex just hanging on by a thread, but... He's only died three times. Yeah, that is peculiar, especially for Apex, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Hyper-aggressive at the best of times. So Tessus has cancelled his bomb that was Red Container. Cadian, yeah, it's not the player you'd want slipping the net on secret with an AWP. It's down. Oh, it's a hard flick. Tags up shocks. Two members of Vitality hanging on by a scrap of health. And so those T-Orps damage, but nothing lethal. If Shox can get anything more out of his ramp hold, and he has managed to tap away at another head, Tessus, another death for him, 12 deaths. 30 seconds left, Kadian's in no man's land right here. Yeah, as I was certainly not prepared for that, but that will be the comms, and Masuta looks to fill the gap. He's actually dropped lower, intriguingly enough, for a top sight hit. Orb's coming in from Vents. They could turn this 2v4 around, turn it on its head. RPK has been such a pillar of consistency, though. And he will get checked. Oh, oh <laughs> style points. Definitely. Quick click of his mouse. And that's the end of the half.
Eight seven. Vitality hold the slightest of leads. Will this be the two zero? Couldn't be closer, 8-7 to separate them, and it comes down to a couple of Vitality individuals. We take a look at the scoreboard. Of course, they are already one up. Rafi K continuing to have a series to remember. He's been in the double digits on overpass, and 16 boasted by the tank. 8-7 though, Chad, it really is a uh, too close to call. We said the same, 50-50 coming into this one, and I feel like the sentiment is shared by everyone consuming this Counter-Strike match tonight. Yeah, Heroic are having to adjust on the fly here. You can just see how prepared for this matchup Vitality have come in. They have answers for almost everything, and that's where they've been able to pull themselves the half lead. But we're kicking off with Pace. Masuda, you're out hard. Yeah, and he's actually not gone down. That CZ's only got a certain amount of bullets, and unless he can find more, it's all blue on brown. Damn, that is quite the Heroic Massacre. Well handled, all things considered. Nico taking two before he went down. Katie in the same. Okay, well, tied things up. It's as close as you like. It has just been back and forth as far as these rounds have gone. No one really able to stretch their legs. Vitality managed to get off to the 3-0 clean start. And there was a viewer, uh, Alex, who was asking what a bonus round is. So just to uh, give you a bit of context there, if Heroic keep this round clean and they have some scrappier guns, so the MP9, the Famuses, going into the first gun round, we talk about that as a bonus round because they should be able to get another buy and, and take a couple of risks with those lighter weaponry. And by converting a bonus... Yeah, you get a lot of cash. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. 
of good things occur. This one's going to be expensive, though. It is the force by from Vitality. He's got the lineup. It doesn't quite work out. So CT Vent isn't mollied. Apex isn't counting on it. Stown's making a meal of it. But it's all good in the hood. Oh, actually run out of bullets. He will go down. It's going to be one. This into a 1v2 just like that. Now all on to RPK. He's been so good, but Tessa knows where he is. Catches a little glimpse of him and tidies things up for Heroic. That could have got a lot worse, but not bad from Vitality. They put the pressure on Ooh. early. Do they force again? That's the question. I mean, you right know here. you've got the CTs on the edge of their seats, right? It's FAMAS, it's MP9. If you can whip out a couple of Galils. I'd run are, that execute again. They've gone for it. Yeah, why not? Two AK-47. Well, surely RPK drops that to armor. Okay, so we'll get shocks on it. Zawu on it, and the rest will probably be throwing in a couple of flash bombs. So this is just like their normal force by round that you would see after getting the plant. They're getting away with this on the third. They need to get the bomb down here and keep it close. SMGs are plenty right now for Heroic. I'm not sure if they're expecting this. Yeah, it's going to be Cadian Zorg versus Apex's scout for the outside hold. Taking some liberties here. Looking for the info will be Cadian. No one fires off a shot on his flash, and he's got silos to be... Concerned about as well. Look at the info. He's just called Lobby Clear. He's uh -oh. Say that. RPK trying to hold it. That's a big shot from a suited to hit. And catching a glimpse of Stown, they'd have to convert that frag. Tessus Into from heaven. Oh. Apex has taken down Stown. Tessus descending. Needs a frag, finds it, clawing it back. They're making it work though. They've even recovered another rifle. Shots taken a jewel. Tessus struggling. Has to back away from that one. This engagement is so, so intense. They cannot surely commit another player into a one-on-one. -on -one. Vitality have the better guns. Two AKs and an AUG against two MP9s and an M4. And pausing the bomb now means Borup has to at least acknowledge the potential for that secret descent. Does Masuta want to take that heaven fight? It would favor him, especially with an AUG. Shox has a gap going back through lobby right now. Nobody worried about it whatsoever. There is a window of opportunity for him here to come through and punish Nico. Tessas. He won't be able to see that squeaky push. Claire's lobby. Heading into main, heading into Nico's deagle. Oh, he just nicely traded. 2-1-2, two, two. again. Keeping these rounds so close. A big frag from Tessus, and they've done it. They weather the storm. Do you go Ooh. again? I mean, if you're Vitality, you, you're you playing with fire at that point. You're really asking for Heroic to run away with their map pick if you do concede another. Just for educational purposes sake, we will not be seeing a bonus round because of these force buys. They have not allowed Heroic to carry across those SMGs. At this point, it looks like they might get that luxury. So Heroic, they've had to fight for these. They have been tested and the Deagles again. Came so it's not, two 2v2s, two Chad. It's not going to be easy again. The Deagles are out. Sure, they have the rifles up. Sure, utility's looking good. But whoa, Vitality have come to play tonight. Give a head. They might get it taken off. Nico with the jump needs to be... Very considerate about how he picks. I mean, so I, can't, up I, can't, there and I, can't, I can't blame him for trying. That's a jewel that favors him, even though he got any opportunity to punish. He's so brave. He's repicked that three times now. Looking for a clean one. Nico finds his duel against Shocks and just whittles away at him. Good peek from Stown. Good <laughs> timing on this. So he's got a target. Stown has two. Well handled. Finally, a clean one for Heroic. Boy, they have been forced to work and work and work. Katie didn't even get smashed out of the server there. That was long range. He was all the way back towards the heaven position, just tucked in in that stairwell. They'll get in the orb. They have everything they need. But Vitality have been threatening here. And finally for them, it will be the AK-47s come out. It's already been four rounds of play on this T-half. And now they get a gun round, but I don't hate the fact that they gave this one a crack with all of those four spies. Really trying to apply some economical pressure. And that doesn't let off for Heroic. You think back to Overpass, on their CT side, the gun rounds that they were being able to win, they had to work for us all against gun rounds. Vitality with the saves, with the pressure, they're keeping it up here. And now they're set up for another one of these top pieces. Not going to be using Yard. Oh, good damage. Suta caught by the smoke spray, and he actually wants to try and finish it off with a nade. It could do damage. Oh. Look at that. Two HEs, and it softens up the entire T-Squad. 
It's looking promising. Jiggles from Bora. He's even adjusted nicely into Apex. Catches a glimpse of RPK as he crosses back. Heroic. They take a man advantage. And they still maintain control of the top side. They have four Molotovs. Most teams drop three at the start of the round. One towards Squeaky, one towards Hart, and the other towards Ramp. They're still holding on to these four. They could be integral right now. True. Tess and Nico both have. <laughs> Saiwu peaks. Saiwu dies. Nico needs another. Tagging up Masuta even further. How do Vitality get out of this one? This looks perfect from Heroic. They've got everything held. Distinct advantages in both players and health. Stout's holding an aggressive line, punishes Masuta pulling out the pin. Good trade. Shocks, good trade indeed. Down to 21 though. They've got 70 points of health between them. How do they win their 2v3? And Nico solves our biggest of the mysteries as to where that Nico reposition had been. Nico going down though does mean that the rotate will have to come towards the low site. Shocks could have slipped the net and be trying to plant. In fact, there's two of them there to stop him. Sorry, mate. Well handled by Heroic now, so really getting a chance to walk away with this one. 12 to 8 is the score line. Money's still good for Vitality. They've hit that max loss bonus juncture of the game here. 3,400 injected into their bank balance round after round. With those four spies earlier, we were talking about how that applies the pressure to the economy, but if they're unable to keep their gun rounds as competitive, as tight, getting those bomb down, making sure you're killing at least three players every single round, it's going to get much more difficult from here on out. We do have the third map of Inferno. Just on the horizon. Certainly becoming part of the conversation. Heroic can uh, grab another gun round, post that one up on the board. They're looking good. Walk for Kadian again. Nico in rotation, straight down towards that lower. Gonna poke his head up secret any moment, but space already taken. Big duel to win. Nico wants info. So Catching noisy. one. You know, there's another. Sai who just wants the duel and he gets away with murder. They're going lower. Bit. It's a very fast vent dive. There's no CTs there to receive them. Zai was continuing to... Oh, I say that. Tess just gets there in time. Takes down one. Perhaps a little more manageable now. Caden, though, with an AWP. Kit on Borup. Does he want to challenge the vents? It's being held by Zaiwu. Clean <sighs> as hell. He has 12 HP when he takes that duel. Vitality back on the scoreboard. It will be their first T-round posted. Kaden goes shopping, grabs himself a nice defusal kit. He might even get hunted here. They might even have a look in. Zaiwu, not far away. Does he save it? What do you think? Oh, he's hiding in plain sight. It looks like he'll get away with this one here. Zaiwu needs to consider his options as well. That AK is going to be great for them in the next round. 3,500 in the bank balance. There's only going to be the 1,400 loss bonus for Heroic. So if they want to go for a buy, Kadian's going to have to drop something. You can see all four dead members of Heroic only operating with it roughly four and a... <sighs> Only hovering with four and a half thousand there. So when you consider that amount of money, you're going to either go into a Famas, a UMP, something so you can get utility behind it, or M4 with armor. It's just going to mean, okay, not as much as they've actually opted to drop some guns around instead. Yeesh. So they've bolstered their buy by dropping weapons. Tessus into the Famas. Borup sacrificed by him. He is the hut player onto that auto shotgun. It's a very powerful weapon in the right hands, in the right positions. Vitality break their five round silence. And now they go for another quick pace into the top side. Masuta just ele elevated. And it's actually Apex that executes two on the top take. Just surely that's Vitality just... Taking the 10th? I mean, yeah, I don't know if Tessus is going to be able to do anything. There's two yard. These quick finishes to the rounds, right? It's a splash and it's Heroic all over. the same thing. Tessus is going to get heaven What's control. Maybe he just wants the orb. grab that AWP. Masuta was the low HP player, but the trajectory is indicative enough of where one of them is hiding. Oh. Sharks has managed to find another. They're sending them to the Stone Age with every frag they find here. Yeah, that's only 1,900 is the loss bonus here. Heroic are going to have to take a save. They it's don't have any choices. Cadian, Borup, gathered around a small flame, banging stones together, hoping to make a spark. They're coming for him as well. Apex has his skates on. Look how quick he's coming for this. He wants the fourth. That smoke as well. He's going to throw out a molly. This is defense of the AWP. Can he hold on to it? Flashed, pushed. Oh, he's gone. That's huge from Apex. What an what a hunt. stunning round. Yeah, he gets four kills, but it's not that. Look what it's done to the CTs. They desperately tried to maintain something, and they come in with five USPs. Great hunt. These opening frags, they were both from Apex. Masuta was just there in tow. 
And then all of this invested into finding that last saved gun evades the orb shot. Perfection. Yeah, you love to see that, especially when it's your uh, in-game leader who's known for his entry frags once upon a time. And it looks like pace again. So a bit of utility lobbed in towards the top side and it will just be these pistols. This is a, a different look. They're setting up a four-man stack here. You can see using the elevation below the totem of Borup and Tessus. And this would catch some players off guard, obviously, if they don't use smokes, they swing a bit more aggressively. But with how Vitality have been playing, it's been very clean Counter-Strike. As they throw out a little bit of utility, they're going to search forward in towards top side, but nobody's there. Remember so this, this little stack? stack? Yeah, we can use that one in the matchmaking games, yeah, I think. I think that's definitely a good little eco stack you go for there. Rush, you remember in that one? Yeah, I think that's good. We do it a bit different when we do. We hide behind the actual AC thing to the left there. This is, uh, this is better, be I think. Four, yeah, four silenced USPs all shooting at the same time on the tightest of lines as well. Maybe that would be enough to get you a little rifle flowing. Nico would be there swinging out of warehouse. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh, he moved just as Shox clicked his mouse, so he doesn't get his clean one tap that he so desires, but there's more, so much more. Is that one player or is that four? I think he's had enough of that. Yeah, they don't need to give anything away. These USPs, they're pesky. Apex wants a bit of a shot, though. He's got 19 kills now, having a bit of a game, old Apex, RPK. Apex is dead. Oh, <laughs> I can't finish my sentence. Zai will interrupt me with saving him. And so it is just the uh, USB of down. So Vitality are back into this. Yeah. Like Heroic's defense was going to prove too much for them to handle, but now it is the Vitality boys that hold the reins and command the respect. You don't like your economy to be in this position late, and that's where Heroic are right now. If they continue to lose, obviously we get that max loss bonus, but once you're in the washing machine, which is the 3400, the CT is going to have a harder time buying. We'll need to be trying to save a few more of their rifles. They won't be able to search on in in the 3v2s. Vitality actually doing so gave them more gun rounds within that first half, whereas Heroic have been scrapping together a couple of ecos. Yep. Ooh, Zywoo's B and Kadian right out of the gate. And there's more. They're going to twist that knife from behind. He's not ready. Nico's gone. Oh, it's a massacre into the top site. Borup wondering where it all went wrong. Zai was already driving by the corner as well to plant. This is over in a heartbeat. And they don't even get a chance to save too many guns because the hunt's going to be on. Apex has a bucket load of cash. Zaiwu has the same. They are getting told right now to go out and take this weapon out of Tessus's hands. Don't let him hold on to this. Make these kids operate with very little. Tessus gets a kill, immediately traded. RPK. They got three grand. Yeah. That's the 2,900 loss bonus. And now this is where Vitality can take the lead in the game because what are you going to buy? Some Deagles? Get yourself maybe, I don't know, a P250, a couple of light nades. They need a special round right here, Heroic, because this is quickly getting away from them here, having to take their third tactical timeout in the game. Great entry, and then everything just continued to fall. Shocks executes Apex with another two big opening frags into that top site. And I think it's all being drained out of the room right now for Heroic here. Someone needs to step up in a big way. This would be the round to do it. It will just be the upgraded pistols. 3,400 in the next. Eventually, they will be able to get a full buy for all five of their members, but it has been a sketchy patch of rounds. Keeping the pressure on. Vitality now have a chance to take back the lead. I think the last time they had the lead, obviously, was at the half. It was only a one round margin. Need to extend that here. What? Doors open, so. <laughs> on, Dan. Indication for lobby aggression. They're actually going to poke their head up secret. Four towards yard. Maybe they could get behind Tessus them. This is a Nico. I like the stance they've gone for. If they continue to uh, be fed information, they're in a great position to push for it, but Apex is so ready. Elevated. Not going to be the pre aimed angle. They're going to have ladder control in one minute left on the clock. That is insane. They have just shift walked this entire way and they have ladder with a minute and 10. So. Round over for heroic, basically. Yeah, once they confirm that top site is being held by no one's looking. Eagles, nobody's going to be looking. You're not expecting this. Oh, Apex wasn't expecting that. And Tess is now with an AK. Boro oh, flubbed oh, it. No, they're throwing it away. Vitality stabilized. Borup's the only one left on the site. He's been found. Oof. And so, damage control. Nico 
with his recovered AK-47 is only going to be a recovered AK-47. Masuta spots him out. The spray is good. Nico winning out, but does not get to hold on to the AK. Vitality continue to put the thumbscrews on. Nothing maintained. Vitality post their 13th round and do take the lead. That's five in a row now on this T side. Heroics pick. Looking promising though at times. Shock's just making a bit of a meal out of that. It's hardest shots to hit into the back of the head. I don't disagree. Okay, well, this is the last stand for Heroic here. It'll be 3,400 every single round from here on out if they continue to lose. And if they win, they need to make sure they do it in clean fashion. There is so much pressure on round number 26. He's going for the vent dive. He's got down. They do lose Zaiwu, though. Cadian's won his duel this time. No funny business. Tassus rotates from ramp in order to find and deal with that missing link that is Apex. He's in transition. Oh, mm -mm. All right, well, Tessus is really bit down hard into this site, and Apex hasn't caught the rotation, so they might not be aware of this position. No windows broken, no doors opened. Nico needs to be careful. Flashed on over that. Shocks with the AWP. He spotted him, I think. He acted like he did. Yeah, it may have been the barrel. It's that little extra long silencer. Oh, and Shocks is going to catch him as he looks around. Now a four on four, and Apex still slipping the net does make things a little bit more awkward. Where will that bomb go? 58 seconds. Apex is the one to make the call. Posturing for some hut push here. An RPK. Oh. One and a half. Tessus finds Apex. Finally, he wins that duel. It Bomb's may not still be the lobby. low site. Bomb is lobby. It's down and shocks. Can just find this. Oh, nice duel. Shocks is the one to try and find him back, but bombs lose. 30 seconds. Shocks will recover. It's unlikely he's going to have too much given to him. He'll have to take it by force. He should go for this one. Taking his sweet time. He'll have to adjust to heaven shortly and does so. Katie not going to give him an inch. 15 seconds. First frag found. If he can tuck in, could get the plant. Oh, he's opted for heaven. Katie reveals it now. He can get the bomb down. That's the missed shot that gives him the chance. Shocks. Shoxy Jesus in a former life now has an AWP and a 1v2. He wants to get the timing on Cadian. No X-ray. Both there. Oh, he's second guessing it. Tucking into the hut. Mollied off. Plan not for him. You can see it from the tight corner of hut. Time. They're onto it now. Smoke. <gasps> and a shot from Cadian. He knows Tessus is on the bomb. Can he just try and knock him off? He'd have to hit that shot. He doesn't. It was a Hail Mary play. Shoxy does not get to keep hold of anything. He's got 12k in the bank, though. He ain't too concerned. He's still got his holiday planned. Mission accomplished, though. They managed to knock out three heroic players in that round. So now guns need to be jiggled across. And that's what you want to do time and time again, because the heroic economy, oof, it's on life support at this stage of the game here. Shock's made a round of it, and that's all they need to do. 13, 13, things tied up, money very good. Plant continues to add extra cash to the bank balance, and that was just a matter of margins right there. Now, that was an opening from Cadian onto Zaiwu. How many rounds is he going to be able to pull that one off? Because we get back underway here, the orbs out once more. Smokes a lot quicker this time, L block up. See how quick that arrived? One minute 40, and you've just got no info. You're just staring at Gray. Nico's already in lower, so not lingering towards Yard this time. So whatever Vitality choose to do here, they have a lot of access towards Warehouse. They can hang around towards Yard. They're not going to get searched out. <laughs> Must look so peculiar. Yeah, if you turn to that corner, three T's just staring at a container. And now, this gap, they can just walk. They are wildly open, walking through the Yard. With Apex on the roof now, three have descended. This is a different look. Nico's been there the whole time. Do they contact this? Do they? They are. Just crouching and peeking. Dink. Nico under threat. Drops his incendiary, but it could just be the only one. Molly into the vents. They want this fight. Zywe responsible for that frag, and he's found it. Now he can lock down ramp. At least one side of it. Tessus tested from two sides. I have to say, if they can't go for this, it's too awkward. The economy's not there. If they go for this and lose, that's game over. Okay, but they might. If they find a frag, RPK's already taken down Borup, though. The save call made. Trying to save their chances of staying competitive in this series. 
ABEX can be calling the hunt again. They can start looking once more. They should try and take these guns away. They've been doing a great job of punishing Heroic. Bomb's half ticked, and now the call's been made. Low HP from Shocks. He needs to just run knife out, find where they are, and relay that information. They can't be towards T spawn. I haven't seen a team so punishing on these hunts in some time. Vitality have got such a firm grasp of the economy. Is I was to flash for him? They won't get there in time. Two flashes and a 12 HP charge. Yep. Test denies and we won't see any more successful hunting despite the nades. Well, that's important. Heroic do get to at least catch their breath. This was the frag that really did seal the deal. DK not letting Borup save a thing. Yeah, they've turned the script on him here, Vitality. Looking very, very good now. The decision making is on point. They have read the heroic playbook inside and out. 14 to 13, timeout called, this time by Vitality. Two rounds away from locking in that semi final against Complexity. Oh, that would be a game to watch. This has been the bogey team for Vitality. They have lost two grand finals to this team here alone in 2020. One was DreamHack Open Fall, it was a best of five. The other was ESL One Cologne back in August. That was a full five maps as well, that best of five. These guys are incredibly interwoven, incredibly close, hard to separate. Vitality do seem to be in striking distance of separating themselves from Heroic in a 2-0 fashion. Composure. Maintain that adrenaline in those down periods. Maintain your motivation and focus. Otherwise, you've got a whole other map to play. The, white, the slate is wiped clean. Heroic looking to stabilize then. The likes of Cadian, we've seen him winning and losing opening duels. He's going to be very cautious about his decisions made here in round 28 in Apex. He's throwing caution to the wind. Nico's in such a powerful punish. As he walks around the corner, he hasn't oh, been spotted. He hasn't been spotted and Cadian's aggression's been punished. Another frag. Oh dear, this spells 15 already. Spells trouble. Nico could not find Apex. Finally, he catches him, but the damage is done. Bomb is down. Man advantage. Playing their after plan. The heart says go for it. The head says save. Once again, the decision for Heroic, it's agonizing. They only have flashes to go for this retake. No smoke for He's the one way. For yeah, they're setting it up. They're going for it. Go on, Tessus. See what you got, mate. Through the flames. Dropping down. Needs a headshot. Finding shocks. Bombs his side. You can do it. You can at least fake it. Get the push to him. Make them come to him. Someone has to check it. Masuta's going to swing. Zai was found first, and Masuta wraps it all up, puts a bow on it, calls it 15 vitality, two match points against Heroic. Revenge to be struck after two Heroic wins, as Chad has highlighted in two grand finals. We say the Vitality's trophy cabinet is empty. Well, it's by the hands of Heroic. That has become the case. Timeout called the very last. Heroic have ran out of resources. They will push everything into the center of the table, and with a sweaty brow, utter the words, we are all in. In pursuit of overtime, needs to be two. And Vitality's pacing has just been so frustrating. You think you found an innovation and they throw something completely different at you. You feel like a plum. They're taking top site. You're looking at the top site players saying, what do you need? How do we help? Stop mollies aren't the answer. They're just running through it. Fast smoke on the molly. They're still running through it. They got the flashbangs that they need. This is so difficult right now for Heroic. Look what, what they're operating with, MP9. It's a single Samus. kit, Chad. If that bomb goes down, it could very well be the separating factor. Vitality are in a position to truly convert here in the 29th round. Heroic will have a much better stab at things if they can get a clean one here. Big test. Shocks is on yard. The full wall of smokes. I don't know if that smoke's going to stop Shocks. Now look at the pace from this. They've taken so much space within the early stages. Cadian, it's all on you. It looks like they're headed towards ramp. With that much space early, they could just clamp down on ramp right now. They forced a rotation lower. Testus is already there. They've totaled up towards top. They're giving up ladder control. That smoke's already gone. There's still over a minute left on the clock right now. Kaden doesn't move, doesn't flinch upon the calls that lower is seen. Util and action. Shocks throws enough util, he still doesn't flinch. Cadian needs a frag. Been absent in these last few rounds, starting to use this warehouse control now for a top pivot. Nico's role is going to be a big test. Shocks isn't prepared for it, and so it enables him to find the first. Need more. Starting to see a bit of action. Apex is on the hunt. All oh, the timing. 
It favors him. Nico has adapted nicely. The frags do favor him, and especially now it's down from above. It's all onto Zaiwu. And he's gone. Down steps up to the plate. A crucial triple kill to take us to the final round of regulation. And Heroic, as I said, will have a better stab at this. When I say that, though, you can see they're going to have to juggle weapons around to make sure everyone has everything. Okay. Well, you said it had to be clean. That was clean enough. They shouldn't be able to make this one work, but the buy, the buy for Vitality is phenomenal. They have so much cash to work with. It's because felt like they've them, always had money. Their hunts and their money management yeah. has just been generally really impressive. It's cool to see how they, you know, even that CT side, the first half of Nuke, you got to see so many calculated and, and well orchestrated financial decisions, meaning that the CT economy just didn't feel as punishing as it does. The question is, what do Heroic do? They turtle up again because Vitality have identified how much space they just got towards Yard. Vitality can ha do so much here. They could do a pace change, go for that fast top split again. They can go Yard around to ladder, suffocate Heroic. Okay. Big first pass, big green tick in the box. Heroic need one more to wipe the slate clean of regulation and start all again in OT. Molly's thrown out early. Well, they're setting up for a top pounce. Fast top pounce, yeah. Smoke on the Molly. Two, one for main as well. Stown flashed. Borup, nearly enough. Stown can do it, and he has again. Multi kills from their stars. Zaiwu trying to arrive on the scene. He's a little late to the party, though. Smoke from Stown isolating more duels. As the smoke fades, though, Stown will be vulnerable. There's someone charging. Who is it? Shocks. Trying to nutmeg the smoke. Is down switched onto this. So I was trying to bait for him. And Shocks just about wins that duel. They made it even. The two of them. Tessus, perfect element of surprise. Zaiwu has absolutely no idea. This is a deal sealed. Kadian in through the lobby as well. The aggression's perfect. And that's a Deagle frag to take us to overtime. All right, heroic. Their map pick, and they show us why they managed to close it enough for a very strong vitality to have to go again. We'll be back with overtime.
overtime for Beijing Online, trying to find our second semi-finalists. We know who they're up against. Complexity securing themselves a win against Biggs, which means we've just got one final seat in the semi-final table. Vitality, heroic, inseparable in regulation here on Nuke. The French definitely felt like they were controlling the dialogue, though. Yeah, well, all those accounting classes that Vitality have been going to go out of the window here in overtime. You no know, need to balance the books as uh, money. That's not going to be a worry whatsoever. Heroic felt like they were down to pistols time and time again. The hunt for guns from Vitality was phenomenal to see. But now as we get underway, 16K MR3 first to 19. 18, 18, we do it all again. The L block smokes, they're not going to land. Stifled early. Finally, that Molotov paying off for Nico. He's been throwing it all throughout regulation without too much success. Now he has his gap. And Apex is going to try and challenge him all the same. Tadian not making many mistakes here. Doesn't set a foot wrong on the first duel. Nate, not quite. Two early casualties for Vitality into our opening overtime round. Taking a bit of initiative here. That's with the bomb, and now with it lost, it's practically the round of smoke on top of it. Ooh, trying to catch the timing, Zai Woo. <laughs> He's actually oh, what? He actually lines it up straight through the smoke, guessing the reposition. It enables a round to become a little more realistic. Could the 2v4 have any sort of voice? It's down, jiggling, checking, shocks, vulnerable, has a molly. Tessus could swing from warehouse. It's good yard presence. <laughs> Tessus is not going to hit the Oh, my shot. God. And Shox gets 10 style points straight to his account. Kadian. Okay. He's, he's down, handled the round, I imagine, with the bomb drop now and a smoke on top of it. Shox, despite some clean shooting, doesn't have much to be able to say about this. Sai Wu's hit one banger, and Kadian's lingering in his smoke. I mean, a flashbang. Make it two ain't bad. Lands on top of Kadian. That's some info for you, Shoxy. No time. No health, no teammates, no hope. There's no saving either, so at least giving it a crack here. And that's one of the keys here once we get into overtime. Those retakes, they will be happening. Thank There'll goodness. be no more saving. Thank There'll goodness. be none of that nonsense. Money, don't worry about it. We're going to go gun round after gun round, locking horns here at the highest level. Let's see who is more polished. And that shot from Shox was just a fancy little fadeaway. It's like, oh, you were shooting at me, were you? Uh, this is what you should have done, mate. Bang. Hello. Bosh. What a shot that was. But heroic. They sealed the round. 16 now. Under where we go. AK-47's out this time. Won't be the AWP for Zywoo. Ooh. Early exchange on Yard. It's just a bit of nade damage. But an AWP shot was fired. Kadian choosing to reposition. Yeah, big bit of a pause here. Smoke's being lined up again, so this will be a heavy lean towards Yard. Right now, there's nobody towards Lobby. Looks like RPK is heading back there now. Dropping the L block late this time. Molotov cannot stifle the smoke wall. Nico throwing out one of his own, trying to slow them down on this cross towards Secret. And now with a minute 10 left on the clock, those smokes have about 10 seconds remaining. Oh, Shock's taking a gamble. Saiwu is walking through the smoke, trying to stop the Nico hunt. Clearing. Yeah. Oh, and the flash combined. Grenade. They hit him. They've walked straight past him. He can't make the call. Oh. Shock's can punish. Borob's found one. Borob with two. What is going on? Finally shut down by RPK. Tessus in the meantime dealt with Shock's. The call is made. He's out yard. And so a 1v1. Bomb down. RPK 28. Can he find his 29th? Oh, he's got across the heart. The clutch is on now. He won the first couple. This would be three kills from RPK to level up in overtime. And Tessus walking in, clears the squeak. And a big clutch for the Dane to be making. He's really stabilized his score as well. He was completely absent on overpass and he's back now to his winning ways as a heroic two CT round conversions. No complaints there. We'll see if Vitality can post a single round here on their T side as they did. Definitely warm into their T side. Madness in that uh, top was, side. Right, the kill feed just suddenly filled up. Back and forth. This is a nice shot to hit as well there. So just holding that shift key, clearing all the corners, RPK. Thought he had been able to duck away, get out of sight. Just walked right into the line of Tessus. And away we go. Final round of the first half here of overtime. It's down onto the double orb still. Enjoying that one. Yeah, they get all the goodies as well. It's been a while since Heroic didn't get feel screwed over. 
financially in some capacity. Shox has taken a lot of nade damage early. Heroic are throwing some real successful stuff at the start. I feel like Vitality need at least one of these. Well, obviously one of these, it's the last one. Going into that second half, Heroic can throw everything in the kitchen sink at them with three cracks at closing this one. It was double overtime back at DreamHack 4. Such a close pairing of teams. And Nuke's delivering in the way that Overpass couldn't, but now we're set up everybody in towards Lobby here. Looks like they're going for that set piece towards top again. They've got all the nades for it. Acadian, aggressive orping pays off. He's gonna get swung on. Nico has two sitting ducks. Heroic on for three. Can't transfer three frags for Cadian, just close quarters on the site. He's even going for wall bangs. Go on, bang shocks through the floor for brownie points. It'll be through the wall. Borup gets it and Heroic take all three, Chad. You can see just having all the economy that they require, they're able to deal with Vitality. They were under pressure for the majority of that game, that second half, trying to save, getting hunted, the pistol upgrades time and time again. Vitality were able to punish and keep them under the thumb, but here, that's not the case anymore in Heroic. They're showing the difference. All the money, all the goodies, everything they need. And uh-oh, okay, headphones off. Not too happy with how that half has fallen. They know, Vitality, that this is their chance to close things down once they move to Inferno. Nevera comes in cold. Burning. Heroic, so many opportunities in already. Zaiwu, what a scalp to take. You've taken him down. He will no longer have any contributions in your pursuit of glory in pursuit of a third map. Inferno, we'll see a substitution. I have to get there first. Nico meets Apex. That was an equalizing frag, but for how long will he hold on to it? Because Cadian's not missing much now. Stown's lingering on the lurk. RPK wants info. One bullet, Masuda falls. Smoke on the vent. Stand that's missed. Back. Surely that's not yeah, intentional. He's going to use that. Thank you very much. I'll take a perfect opportunity to sneak down vents and have four players lower. I say that as Tessus catches their look. Traded by RPK. Is he ready for Stown? He is! How is he prepared? Vitality given a lifeline by the tank. No one's lower. Shox has really good nades for this as well for the retake. They have to go for this Vitality. There's obviously no saving. Oh, it's the wrong gamble. Looking for lobby information right now. They need to find where Heroic are. Trading places. Bomb will go down lower. Oh, baby. One vent, one ramp read for the retake. Cadian. Really has been not been struggling to hit warp shots. And they get tested again. RPK's walking in his direction. Shock's coming down from ramp. Secure a third. Heroic just need to see that bomb explode. RPK to change our minds. A quick flick required and Cadian again refuses to miss. This is practically over now. He could go for a smoke defuse, I suppose. How good do you remember the lineup? Borup can try and punish it, though. From dark, he peers out. It's a bad smoke. It's a frag and heroic. Weather the storm. Exhausting. And